my wife made this world for our daughter. She is a much better artist than me. She paints, dances and sings. Our main difference is that I don't need to sleep as much as her. So I hope it while they both are snoring. She also knows nothing about these videos, so please don't tell anyone. We all sleep in our room, so I rightfully occupy this land in the name of all average painter out there. But back to the front. Here's an avocado cup, and here's the mini I told you about on my last video. And you know what else? I wrote a full script for this video, explaining every step of the process in detail. And then I threw it in the garbage can, because I don't feel like teaching things. I don't want to do tutorials on this channel. I don't know what the hell am I doing. Go follow Dangan, Ninjon, Maniac, and VinCV for a masterclass. No. What I really want to do is to tell you about this biker. How he got here and what goes through his mind on his last minutes. In my head, Jackson is the only survivor of a biker gang, alone in the middle of a battlefield. He is running low on ammo and got no one to watch his back. The enemy is around around him. He has taken off his helmet as the radio is silent and nobody is coming on the set. He has watched all of his brothers fall, one by one. He's gonna face his inevitable death with the wind on his hair and his boots on. He knows his last royal has come. Sad? Don't worry, it gets sadder. Jackson doesn't even know the name of the planet he's gonna die on. He has been deployed alongside this squad to establish a perimeter around an endangered city where thousands of citizens hide behind the walls from a Sinus invasion. Upon his arrival, the defenses reveal themselves as not strong enough, and the first breaches pop among the ranks of the local army. With the first lines fleeing, the town is soon to be thrown by the enemy, a sort of sneaking saddles with claws and fangs. The screams of innocent people pierce Jackson's ears even louder than the squad leader's orders. A destructive maneuver is mandatory to disband the might of the assaulting force, for they need to buy some time. The rest of the army will be there in a couple of minutes. Jackson can see the flares of the landing pods shining in the sky. And the silence that flows the squad's communication says it all. A sacrifice is needed to save the nameless city and their nameless people. Jackson knows that, same as his whole team, but there's no need for words. A quiet promise, having written. For a brief moment, Jackson thinks about the life he's about to live and feel a little sting of regret for not getting to know more about the outer space and its wonders. But that bus is rapidly silenced by his favorite sound. The sound of a full throttle triumph. Now, Jackson loads the last batch of bullets into his sniper rifle, making each of them count. The cracks of the foliage and the quick steps around him alert his nerves, and he lets his fingers do the rest. For more than 15 minutes, their last stand traps the enemy into a lie. Their main force diverts. The raid loses its momentum. The Salvation Army arrives on the bridge. For more than 15 minutes, Jackson holds his ground. When the Allied troops get to his position, there's nothing of him to recover. Just his mic, his helmet, and his promise. I told you, he was about to get sadder. I have
have stumbled through different projects for my entire life. My mind is always running and I'm unable to switch it off, even when the project is finished and I deserve some rest. I am never happy enough with the results, which leads to me starting a new one as soon as I can. I dive into new adventures almost every year, trying different things and learning new skills in no time, only to abandon them a few months in. I was exhausted of restlessly jumping from craft to craft without ever mastering any of them. I'm not a writer. I'm not a real musician. I'm not a craftsman. Hell, I don't even know if I could consider myself as an artist at all. But then, through the years, I found a charm I could identify and be comfortable with. One drive I could be proud to be a part of and one made me feel encapsulated. I need the freedom the charm consists me, and none of the pressure I previously have felt. I am, without the shadow of a doubt, a storyteller. I, same as Jackson, made a promise. No matter what I will do, no matter the personal situation or the job I will have or the prayer that will occupy my time, I will always tell a story through it. It doesn't matter what kind of story. Even a goofy one, like the drum returning of my last video will do. It doesn't matter if no one's there to listen. Anything I do will be for the story and how I tell it to the world, or to my wife. I really hope you have the heart to cry all throughout Jackson's story and to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and please, as the protagonist of this video, never ever dare to jump out. What the f*** is Garvin looking doing inside this capsule?